What is going on everybody? Evan here with Evan's Detailing and Polishing. We're out in the shop. I got two different things here. I got a fuel tank in the background and I got a wheel laying on the ground here. It's just out of sight where you can't quite see it. But what I got here is I got two different types of sanders. I have a rotary and I have a DA. As I said in a previous video, I'm gonna do a video for you here quick on how to use each one, the differences between the two. Of course, the rotary, like we said, is a spinning style and a DA is an orbitation style. Check it out. All right, so what we got right here is a real nasty, nasty wheel. Um, what I'm gonna do is on two different sections here, I'm gonna use uh, rotary, and then on two different sections, I'm gonna use a DA. And I'm just gonna show you how much quicker a rotary can take time down. Now, like I said, this is more for your advanced users. Um, the beginners, I don't recommend using a rotary. You can mess stuff up really quickly. Um, but this wheel looks absolutely nasty. Um, but I really think that if I were to use a DA, I'd have to probably go with like a 220. But if I start with a rotary, I could probably start with a 400. So what I'm gonna do is I always start at my higher level and if I need to, I always bump it back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it on a 400 on a rotary and then I'm gonna start off with a 220 on a DA because I know 400 on a DA isn't gonna cut through this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that right now. Here's just some 400 grit. Slap it on here. Let me show you that it's a 400 grit so nobody questions this, P400. And slap this on here, no editing here, so you'll see it right away. Now, I do recommend face protection when you're sanding. Aluminum dust is bad for you, um, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to. I know, hammer me in the comments for it. But watch here real quickly, it'll go super, super fast. If you catch an edge on a hole with, with your rotary, you will tear your paper. If you hear your paper tear, throw it out. Paper's cheap. All right, so we'll get in close on this after I do the DA, but as you saw, I busted through those two sections really quick. Um, there are some really heavy pits. This was off of a dump truck, so it's really, really rough. Um, I normally wouldn't take all these pits out unless it was going on a show truck or something, but uh, most people just want to get it shiny, especially going on a dump truck, it's gonna go right back out, but I can cut all that heavy material off super fast and get back after the polishing process. Now I'm gonna show you on the DA here. We're gonna slap on some 220, P220. Going right on my DA here. Now this is gonna take a little bit longer.
All right. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see how well it did in both sections. This one's got a big gouge over here, so don't mind that. What I'm actually looking for is just how smooth it came out. Um, now what I would normally do is I'll rotate between rotary and DA just to kind of switch it up a little bit uh, in between grits just to make sure that I got the previous grit out. So what I'll do is I'll bring you in close here and show you these. So it went from that, here's the rotary, cut down a lot of that stuff really quickly. Here's the DA, took a lot more time. Definitely would have had to go deeper if I wanted to make this thing really, really nice. But that's really what this comes down to is how quick do you want to get it done? How nice do you want to get it? Um, if you're going to want to get this thing absolutely perfect, can you do it with a DA? Yes. Is it going to take you four hours? Likely, yes. Are you going to start with 80 grit to take out some of this heavy stuff where the brake drum was sitting? Absolutely, 100%. Now, if you cut down with a rotary, if I were to cut this down with like a 180, I'll knock out a lot of these pits and a lot of these heavy gouges really super fast. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and bring you in real close um, and try and show you how you can take that out rather quickly. Um, I'll even show you how you can knock down some of this. If I throw an 80 grit on a rotary, you're going to be doing some heavy, heavy damage. Um, you'll take this out really super fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you in right here so you can see it really close and hopefully you can catch it. So I don't know how well you can see this right here, um, but it knocked down a lot of that really heavy, heavy pitting super, super quick. Um, you can actually see it's starting to take down where the actual brake was, where the actual brake drum was sitting on it. Um, it's taking off a lot of material. We're making a lot of dust over here. You can see a lot of that stuff. Um, but that's doing it on a wheel. Let's pop it over here in the fuel tank and uh, I'll show you the same exact process. Alright, so what we got right here is our training tank. We use it for training everybody that comes through our shop. Um, I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see this really well. I'm going to try to stay out of the way of the camera so you can still see it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do the same process on here. We're going to do a rotary in a spot and we're going to do DA on a spot so you can see how much longer it takes. Um, I'll probably actually run a piece of tape right down the center just so you can kind of see that. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the same process. I'm going to do just a rotary on this side here with just 400 and you'll see how much 400 will take out. A lot of people think they need to go down to 80 grit and a lot of people don't need to. Um, 400 grit will take quite a bit of that out. May have to go down to 320 to try and knock some of this out. If I was trying to take these strap marks out, I'd probably start with a DA at 80 to knock down all the corrosion and the dust and stuff first. And then I'd bump up to like a 120 or a 150 on the rotary and work a lot of that stuff out. You're never going to get all that out unless you're welding it and filling it in. Like this one here on this training tank almost has holes in it. A uh, guy gave it to me because it was leaking. So I'll break that down. We're going to tape off a little spot here and show you real quick. All 
All right, so we got our spot taped off right here. I'm gonna do rotary on this side. Of course, we still have that pad available on goshana.com forward slash shop. So you want this right here? Perfect. All right, have a good day. Yep, you too. As you can see, we got 400 grit right here. I'm gonna put it right on the rotary so you don't see me changing nothing. 400 grit on the rotary. It's on there. Now you see I don't put any grease or lube or nothing on there. And we're just gonna hammer right at it. I think 400 grit's gonna take this out. Just like I suspected, 400 took it right out. Just a couple little pits left in there, but the 600 or 400 DA should knock that out. I'm gonna show you a spot right here with just a DA. Um, I'm gonna have to drop down to a 220. Um, I know because we've polished this tank 100 times, and I know I can't do it on a DA with 400. So, we're gonna drop down to a 220. On the DA, this is a Makita DA, you can find it in the links below. Let me grab the camera and show you closely here. See how nice and smooth that is? How nice and smooth that is? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish it up 400 and 600 um, just so you kind of see what I finish it up at. Um, I would normally switch these up, rotary and DA, but um, what I'll do is I'll just do just rotary on this side and just DA on this side, just so you can see kind of how they both would finish out if they're gonna finish out that way. Okay, so rotary, we did 400. All we need to do is 600 yet. See that P600? Throwing it right on here.
So that's 600. I'll zoom in on it here again shortly. Um, but now on our DA, we started with 220. I'm gonna jump to a 400. I would normally go to a 320 if I was gonna do a show finish. I'd go 320, 400, 600. But you can see here, I'm gonna jump to a 400. Throw it on my DA. Same thing. <laughs> There's 400, got 600 to go yet. 600. Now I didn't show everybody the technique that really isn't 100% how we do it here. I'm just showing the process. Um, if you wanna see the actual technique and learn exactly how we do it here in the shop, swing on through our training, our training program and we'll break everything down for you. You'll actually get the sand and polish on this tank with the same process that we use on show vehicles and uh, we'll teach you all how to do that. Um, it's just a course we offer primarily in the winter we do some in the spring, summer, and fall, but primarily winter time is the main time that we do a lot of our uh, training. Grab the camera here and bring it in close again. All right, so here's the 600 rotary and the 600 DA. If you look, we've already got some reflection in there. That's gonna polish out great. Over here, same thing, we got some reflection in there that's gonna polish out great. Both of these will polish out. Um, doesn't matter if you use 400 or if you use six, um, 600, and it doesn't matter if you use rotary or DA. Um, both of these are polishable right now. Uh, if I were to swap out to an orange buff with a brown compound, I could cut through both of those right now with absolutely no problem. Um, as you saw with the rotary, I didn't sit in one section too long. I definitely kept moving. I didn't sit and work one section. I kept moving side to side. Um, I did that because I didn't want to leave hook marks in it. I didn't want to leave divots, waves, moons, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to make sure I didn't leave any of, the, any of that stuff in there. So, if you were curious on what the difference is between rotary and DA, now you know. You've seen it on both a wheel and on a tank. Thanks for stopping by. I truly appreciate you guys. Hope to see you guys again soon. Of course, all the stuff you see here is available in our links below. And... Uh, Hope this is helpful. Till next time, boom.